Hey YouTube, I'm back this time with a very excited, much anticipated, at least on my part, vintage Bath & Body Works haul. So I did a vintage Bath & Body Works haul in May, I think, of 2021, and I have talked in a couple of recent videos about how I was kind of getting ready to do another one, and I'm so excited because I just absolutely love doing these. So I've gotten a couple of comments in videos where I've mentioned the fact that I'm gonna do this soon, um, asking me what a vintage Bath & Body Works haul is, and it just is a haul of vintage or kind of like throwback Bath & Body Works products that you can no longer get on the sweat on the website. So it might be like really OG, like, you know, Bath and Body Works, like pleasures line kind of stuff, or it might just be things from like a couple years ago that you just can't get anymore. So there will definitely be a, a pretty significant range of like years that this haul is covering. And I'm so excited because I just love this kind of stuff. I love to um, have like old stuff again and really kind of relive that you know, the memories from that part of my life. And yeah, anyway, so um, last thing before I get started, I will say, and I just said my last video too, and I'm filming these two videos on the same day, by the way, um, that I don't know if it'll translate onto YouTube, but my voice is a little bit nasally right now because I am in the process of getting over a summer cold. So just bear with me, but I wanted to get these videos pushed out today. And I just wanted to share my vintage finds with you because I just love this kind of stuff. So let's jump right into my soaps. So I picked up a foaming soap in pumpkin cupcakes. So this scent is one that does come back. Um, I typically am not a pumpkin spice person, as you guys know, so I tend to not be so hip on exactly what pumpkin spice scents are out there from year to year, but this came in like a set of Bath & Body Works stuff that I got off of Poshmark, and uh, so yeah, I just kind of went for it, even though pumpkin spice is not my thing. Um, I want to expand my horizons with pumpkin spice, so I figured this was in the trio that I purchased anyway, anyway, so I might as well just kind of, you know, use this and see if I really enjoy having a pumpkin spice item. So it says the keynotes are baked pumpkin and whipped vanilla frosting. So this is from 2015. I think that 2015 was such like a golden year for Bath & Body Works. I just felt like they had great fragrances that were new and exciting and I thought that their packaging was great for really the whole year too. I think that they had great seasons from spring all the way to winter that year. So again, 2015, this was made on the 231st day of the year, whatever day that is. Something that I really love about 2015 kind of era stuff from Bath & Body Works is I feel like, um, you know, the packaging was still consistently wonderful. Like I love these beautiful images of pumpkins with a cupcake. I feel like it's just a lot to ask for some reason at Bath & Body Works right now to just get packaging that makes sense with what that thing is. I just kind of miss packaging that you couldn't just put on any other scent and call it just as good. So I don't know. Anyway, so I feel like, you know, it's such a simple request that we don't consistently see that at Bath & Body Works anymore. So I mean, maybe it's just changing with like aesthetics of culture, I don't know, whatever. But anyway, I just kind of miss the simplicity of that kind of packaging. Now in that, um, or with that soap, I also got another one from 2015 from another collection that I thought was fabulous. This is from the Cork and Vine collection, which was the summer to fall transition at Bath & Body Works that year. So this is the Wild Vineyard Blooms. When um, this first came out, I was actually doing floor sets at Bath & Body Works. So I used to actually work there for a while. Um, so yeah, I remember just setting out cork and vine stuff and it was just such a vivid memory. I really enjoyed, um, I think it was white peach Chardonnay. I tried to find some white peach Chardonnay stuff, but I just didn't find stuff in that scent at a reasonable price. So I actually just kind of coincidentally wound up with something else from the cork and vine collection. So um, again, Wild Vineyard Blooms, the keynotes are Blushing Peonies, Autumn Vines, and Port Wine. And I really enjoy it. So I don't remember this scent per se, but it smells like what it sounds like. You know, I definitely get the peony first and foremost. So it kind of smells like a mature floral. Um, I do get a vine. I get kind of like a fermented red grape at the end. So definitely a floral scent, but I really like it. And I'm glad I just kind of wound up purchasing this, even though I really don't remember this exact scent. I just remember the cork and vine collection and how wonderful it was. The last thing that I got in that set, because I got a set of three items and these soaps just came with it, 
was the shower gel I really had my eye on. So I wanted to bring Bright Autumn Blooms back into my collection. So the key notes are warm marigold petals, cedar leaf, sparkling bergamot, and sandalwood. Bright Autumn Blooms came out for a couple years. I believe the first year it came out was, I wanna say 2016. I could be wrong, but I wanna say that was the year. This particular shower gel, let me see if I can, because the sticker is covering up the manufacturing date. Let me see if I can find it. Okay, so this is 2018, yeah. I've got an 8264. So this one's from 2018. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did it come out in 2016 or was it 2017 that it came out? I don't remember. Anyway, it might have been 2017. Anyway. Um, but yeah, I just, you know, I haven't had it in a couple years and I know it didn't come out last year. Um, probably partly because we had Golden Sunflower come out last year and I know it's back again this year, but I really wanted um, another autumnal floral. I had golden sunflower last year and I thought it was nice but just kind of like forgettable. Um, so I just wanted to go back to bright autumn blooms. I will say another um, fall scent I would have liked to come back that kind of came back around or like came to Bath and Body Works around the time that bright autumn blooms did was um, um, like salted caramel apricot I think was the name of it. That was such a lovely fragrance so good, very caramel, kind of fruity, autumnal is really nice too. All right, so let's get into some other shower gels that I picked up. I also picked up three shower gels in bourbon strawberry vanilla. Again, another fabulous fragrance that I absolutely love. These three shower gels are from 2019, so in the grand scheme of Bath & Body Works, not especially old, but you can no longer purchase them, so I just wanted to pick up a few because Bourbon Strawberry Vanilla is my signature scent during the month of September, and I have a body cream and a fine fragrance mist, but I ran out of shower gels. So I wound up picking all three of these up from eBay, and I just purchased them from someone who clearly just like has a bunch of them, I don't know. Um, but yeah, I paid, 30 bucks including shipping for all three of them so depending on your you know perspective that's pricey or not but i love bourbon strawberry vanilla so much that to me it was worth it okay let's get into my last shower gel now if you've been around for a while you might remember this line wildberry tulips so i uh, last year had a couple of shower gels from the same line um, and it was wild citrus sunflower. There was also a blue one in this line that was wild apple daffodil. So um, because I had a couple of the sunflower ones last year, I did not pick up any of those, but I was really clamoring for the wild berry tulips. So I enjoyed all three of those. And the berry tulips was, was actually my least favorite just because I thought it was a little bit forgettable, but I'm kind of at a point where I get, I was like, oh man, like I would really love to have that fragrance again. So I just went out and got it and there you go. So this one is from, I'm having to look like through the bottom of the bottle, if that makes sense. This one is from 2012. So this is one I will definitely get used up. So with these vintage items, I really don't sit on them. I will use them up within a couple of months of purchasing them just so that they don't turn and I can just really enjoy them and especially because of how much I typically will have to pay for a vintage item compared to like what you can get in the store. Um, but yeah, I just really enjoy it. So because it is old, I'm gonna turn around and use it up during fall, but I'm really happy to have something from this line again. And again, uh, wild, apple, wild Apple Daffodil was a really nice fruit floral as well. Okay, let's get into the moisturizers that I picked up. I picked up a lotion in Midnight Pomegranate. This is from the end of 2019. I am kind of sad that it seems like Midnight Pomegranate just doesn't become available on the website anymore. So I guess it has just finally gone by the wayside altogether. So Midnight Pomegranate, Ruby Red Pomegranate, Sparkling Cassis White, Jasmine, Blackberry Spice, and Patchouli. Kind of the same story with um, uh, with uh, bourbon strawberry vanilla. Uh, Midnight pomegranate is my signature scent for the month of October. I have a one more shower gel. I have a fine fragrance mist. I just needed a lotion to complete my trio. So that's what I, why I picked up this. All right. Um, also, I, along with the Midnight pomegranate, I picked it up in a duo. The duo that I got with it, or the other item I got with it, was a body cream from 
Um, this was also from 2019, so lots of stuff from 2019 here. This is a body cream in Christmas cocoa and mint. So again, these two were just in a set together. I purchased them off of Poshmark. The keynotes are rich Christmas cocoa mingled with refreshing mint warms the soul and sparks the senses. Am I looking at the right thing? Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no, 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 I'm not. Okay, so decadent milk chocolate, thin mint cookies, and marshmallow fluff. So this, to me, definitely smells like a thin mint cookie. Um, I was a little bit disappointed to see, I don't know if it'll really translate here on YouTube, but a little bit disappointed to see that this is a very yellow cream. It's probably yellow because of that marshmallow note. Um, but I guess at least you know it's in there if it's yellowing um, because marshmallow and vanilla tends to do that at Bath & Body Works. So I've said before on my channel that I wish that Bath & Body Works would like take care of that issue because the yellow can stain things. Um, but I was kind of in a position too where also I just didn't have a moisturizer that I can use up with Twisted Peppermint in December. And yeah, I just wanted to purchase this. So I wanna see how this goes. I'm finding that I just don't enjoy Twisted Peppermint in a moisturizer because I don't enjoy the intense kind of menthol type of feeling on my body, especially in winter. So I wanna see how differently this feels or maybe it doesn't. So I don't know, we'll see how it goes, but I'm gonna use this up in December as my kind of Christmas fragrance this year. All right, so now let's get into um, any kind of like body splash or kind of like perfume, I guess. So the first thing I will talk about, and these are like my OG things, um, is this. So it doesn't look like a Bath & Body Works item and it's really not, but I got this because it intrigued me. So I was on the hunt for a green tea cucumber product because that's just one of my OGs like of all time at Bath & Body Works. And I found a person who was selling these on eBay and they are Bath & Body Works type roller balls. So because this person had green tea and cucumber, melon, or green tea and cucumber, I wanted to see how it compared because this little thing only cost me six bucks, including shipping, so it was fine. Um, and yeah, I tried it and I think when it's wet, like when you first put it on, it definitely smells like green tea and cucumber. It smells very spa-like, it smells very natural, but I think it has kind of like a perfumey dry down that the original green tea and cucumber items or like scent from Bath & Body Works just didn't have. So I think I'll play with this a little bit, but it's not, I mean, in the beginning, it definitely smells like a dupe for it, but it just doesn't dry down the same way. So I'll play with it, not quite a Bath & Body Works item, but based off of a Bath & Body Works item. All right, now get a load of this. I picked up two minis and I used them a little tiny bit. Two minis in Dancing Waters. So I was a big Dancing Waters fan back in the day, you know, back in the late 2000s. These are from the end of 2010, so 0315. Um, are my digits there. So Dancing Waters, I really enjoy it. You know, Dancing Waters is so not for everyone. It's very much so a perfumey, slightly floral kind of fresh aquatic scent. So yeah, it just smells like perfumed water, if that makes sense. So yeah, I really like it. I'm such a Dancing Waters person. I would love to have it come back in some iteration of Bath & Body Works, but it hasn't yet. So that's what I got. I got those minis from the end of 2010. Now, the very last thing I've got, I'm so excited because this is something I've really, like, really been clamoring for. And I've had this for a while because I've been having to like acquire all of this stuff. I've had it for a while, so I've been using it a little bit. Bath & Body Works Pleasures, Body Splash, Fresh Pineapple. So this is the oldest thing I purchased. Um, it's even getting a little like old for me. The code might be, like not right because I don't remember when Bath & Body Works started doing the code that tells you exactly when it was manufactured, but I see a code on the back that says seven, or yeah, 7274. So if that's 2007, oh my goodness, that's such a long time ago. I mean, I was in high school, but I do remember specifically using fresh pineapple toward the end of high school, so like senior year. And for me, that is 2007, 2008. So again, really old, but it still smells really nice. So, um. I am getting a little bit of like a, kind of like a weird kind of scent at the end um, that shows me that it's turning, but overall it smells just like fresh pineapple from back in the day. 
And again, I love the pleasures line because it was simple packaging. It just is a picture of a pineapple and it's just, just called fresh pineapple. I mean, I love it. I mean, I, it's such a good one and it still smells so nice. Takes me right back to the 12th grade and I just, uh, I just love it. So like these other items, this is something that will definitely get used up in the next coming months just because I don't want it to sit around because I can already tell at the very end it's trying to turn a little bit just because of its age. But yeah, it's so lovely. The notes are sunny, refreshing pineapple dipped in coconut water, tropical, sparkling, enchanting. I don't know if I necessarily get a coconut water, it just smells like a very kind of zingy pineapple and it's so nice. So so this is it, what I've got for my uh, vintage haul. Hope you guys enjoyed I absolutely love doing these, but they just kind of take me a while to acquire the items just because I need to decide, okay, what am I really clamoring for? What am I willing to pay for? And just put it all together into a haul. But I so enjoy really seeing like throwbacks on YouTube because I feel like throwback Bath & Body Works stuff is so fun. So that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, as always, please make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on the Instagram at Schoolhouse of Iron. I'll put it down below. You guys know the deal and I'll see you guys later. Bye.